What makes his background so unique that despite he was from such a bad background, he himself had a very happy marriage and spent a lot of time painting his children, his home life, life in Sweden. Hi, this is Anita from 5 Minutes with Art. Today I want to talk about one of my favorite artists and someone who I've long admired. And someone who's really, some people know about and some people don't know about him, but he is quite popular in Sweden. And it's Carl Larsson, who is a Swedish artist and illustrator. Carl Larsson was born into poverty. He was born in an area which wasn't a very pleasant area. In fact, his father was a drunk and a loveless man. His father said to him once, I curse the day you were born. You know, at age 13, he realized he needed to get out of this situation. And he applied to the Royal Swedish Academy of Arts. And he was, you know, actually accepted. He eventually began to earn enough by the time he was age 16. He was able to earn enough to be able to help support his parents. So, you know, here's a great story about a man who, you know, had a terrible father who was a drunk, but at the same time, was able to earn enough to help his family. What makes his background so unique that despite he was from such a bad background, he himself had a very happy marriage and spent a lot of time painting his children, his home life, life in Sweden. So even though he had this very bad upbringing, he himself was able to overcome that and to base essentially paint you know, a lot of pictures of these, you know, happy families and of his own family in Sweden. He had eight children. And so he had quite a large family and his children became his models for his artwork. I wrote a blog about him, which is called 22 Facts About Carl Larson. And if you go onto that blog post, I found an old video that actually shows him in person in his garden with some of his family in 1916 in uh, Sunborn, which is his house now, which is now a museum that you can go visit. His wife, Karen, was an interior designer. And so, you know, she really is the one that was credited for, you know, decorating the house and he painted a lot of the house. And a lot of the style today, which Carl Larson had, is used today for the Swedish style. She also acted a lot as Carl's art critic. She was someone who was a successful and talented artist by her own right. She depended upon her own artistic sense and styling. And so she was known to be a sounding board as art critic. But she had a house to run and had eight children to take care of. And so, you know, some of the ways that she'd use her artistic pursuits, she designed a large number of textiles in her home. She made her um, design textiles by hand weaving them. She embroidered and designed clothes for herself and her children, and she designed furniture for the home. So really, you know, the interior parts of the home and a lot of the interior that you see can be actually be um, credited to his wife, Karen, and for her and all that she did. Um, they were actually given their house, that is their famous house, it was actually given to them, and this became the house that he became very famous for. They, they basically, Carl, Karen and... Um, and Carl Larson influenced a lot of Swedish style, textile design, and the Swedish style has since influenced a lot of other designs. So anyone who's interested in sort of design or the Scandinavian design, it's important for them to know about him. You know, his popularity began to increase with the colored printing press when he did illustrations that could be printed. He actually did become famous in other parts of the world, including the United States and uh, particularly in Germany. You know, many of his arts works really became a very famous and popular. But at the same time, he'd suffered from depression and other mental problems. So his life uh, was not all very easy. So, you know, he had some mental issues and some other uh, mental problems. He really represented the arts and crafts movement. And so if you're interested in the arts and crafts movement and you love that type of work, then Carl Larson is an artist you should definitely check out. Like I said, I have a blog post on him, which has a lot of his paintings and a lot of other information. We'll put a link below to the blog post. But this really is truly a great Swedish artist to know about because he did a lot of great work. And he just really honestly is one of my favorite artists. I just love his style. And I love his paintings. This is Anita with 5 Minutes with Art. Thank you so much for listening. We appreciate you. We appreciate you being part of our community. And we'd like to thank our technical team, specifically Rico, for help making this possible. (laughs) 